Greetings once again to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. It's Lane Driver once again, uh, coming to you with a, an unboxing of another uh, Toro watch. Uh, these are uh, watches that um, are toured around uh, the United States. Uh, to various members of, in my particular case, the Random Rob Patreon group. Uh, Random Rob is a YouTuber with a very large and very well done channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Um, he uh, starts tours of uh, multiple watches. I think there are currently, as I'm making this video, half a dozen watches being toured around uh, two members who sign up for the tour group um, this is one of them i happen to be what's called the ringleader of the tour group i start the tour uh, i organize the uh, dozen in this case members get their addresses and make sure that the watch moves from place to place and eventually ends up back with rob at some point uh, today i have a luxury, uh, well not luxury, but a dress watch from a company called Spinnaker. Uh, may have heard of them. Uh, they do make multiple uh, styles of watches. Um, this one happens to be, I'll just take it out now so we can see it. This one happens to be a sport dress watch called the Hull. <laughs> Um, and here is the, um, the number SP5073-01. Uh, I believe that this watch has been, uh, I don't know if this is a watch is still in production right now. It may have been superseded by the dash one, one, but, uh, the watch is, uh, brand new when it arrived to me. It's so new. In fact, that the band is very very stiff I'll get to that in a minute but as you can see it is a uh, a sport watch you know sport style watch it could also function as a dress watch owing to its well, it's not terribly thin but it is um, a simple three-hander with a date window at the six o'clock uh, so it could it could do as a uh, a dress watch in a pinch if if you needed it to and this watch um, started at Rob's um, location and uh, came to me so that I can start the tour. And uh, so I'll be the uh, first to review it on the tour. I don't know if other folks will review watches like I do, but uh, that's up to them. Very nice watch. Yeah. I love the, uh, the decorated... Um, case back it is an automatic uh, the rotor does move when it wants to it's uh, somewhat decorated movement I think most of the decoration is on the uh, the crystal itself a nice watch got good heft to it you know I like the uh, the particular thing that I like about this watch is I like the uh, the color of the dial. That nice gray color sort of has uh, owing to the fact that this watch is named the uh, the Hull, um, and the, the company is Spinnaker, which evokes you know uh, boats and sailing and that sort of thing. I like the the, the design of the uh, of the uh, watch face with the it looks like planking on a ship deck. It's very nice. You know, let's see. It does have a screw down crown. It is a uh, fairly water resistant movement owing to the fact that it's from a uh, company that wants to evoke images of sailing vessels. Um, no crown wobble. Very, very little crown wobble as you can see. Almost none. Uh, it is a hackable movement, if I can, as you can see there. Screw it back down to get the full water resistance. I get this thing on the wrist so you can see what it looks like. It 
It's a very stiff band. It is a leather band, but it's also marked water resistant leather band. So it's going to be a very stiff. It has an alligator pattern to it, but it is not alligator, it is leather. As you can see, the watch fits very well on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Good lug uh, strike on the wrist. I think people down about maybe six and a half inch wrist could probably wear this watch with very little effort. Um, you may have to punch an extra hole in it or two, but uh, you know it works. Signed uh, buckle, as you can see. Very nice. But a very, very stiff band, and that, if I owned this watch, that would bother me. I would probably put it on a softer leather uh, strap, just because, uh, you know, I'm not going to swim with it. And as you can see, it's signed leather on the back, and you can see it says water-resistant leather. So that, that is accounting for the, you can see it's very stiff I, I have broken it in just a little bit just by wearing it but it is a very stiff band okay so we have the facts as i said this is a spinnaker hull sp5073-01 um let's see it uses a seiko nh35 automatic movement so it winds, uh, automatic winds, it hand winds, and it hacks, as we've already demonstrated. It's using a mineral crystal, which I find to be disappointing, but uh, they were aiming for a price point, I guess, and, uh, you know, uh, mineral crystal helped them get into that price point. Um, I believe these watches are right around $300 US. Um, so I guess at 300 bucks, you're not going to get a crystal, a uh, sapphire crystal. It is a domed crystal, as you can see. It is a uh, 42 millimeter case, a 22 millimeter lug. So this thing is fairly easy to change straps on. Uh, it is a 15 millimeter thick. So should slide under a jacket cuff. I don't know about a dress shirt cuff, but a uh, jacket cuff should be easy enough to accomplish. Uh, it is a 48 millimeter lug to lug and 100 meter water resistance. So swimmable, certainly, maybe snorkeling. Uh, I wouldn't take it scuba diving, obviously. It doesn't have the right bezel and it's not nearly water resistant enough but for you know sailing <laughs> boating swimming snorkeling should be a good watch 316l stainless steel case so uh if you're in salt water remember to rinse it off after uh, you're done with clean fresh water so it doesn't corrode you know, screw down case back too so good and solid I, I like the overall look of the watch. Um, if I was in the market for this kind of watch, I would certainly uh, heavily consider this watch uh, to own. Um, I'm, it's it's not my particular style, but it is a it is a good watch. It is a it, it wears well. It's a good piece. So I would I would definitely give it a recommend if uh, you're in the market for this kind of watch. I definitely give Spinnaker a look. Uh, it feels good in the hand. It feels good on the wrist. Uh, it's keeping very good time. I've been monitoring it with my eye. I haven't got a, a, a um, what do they call those things? Um, you know, things that, uh, that you know, town graph, a town grapher. I don't have one yet, but I have been monitoring the watches, uh, keeping time with my iPhone and it's keeping time just fine. So for the money, it's a, it's a good value. Um, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't give this a recommendation to anyone who asks me. So I'm going to wrap the video up um, and uh, wear it for a few more days and then send it out on its way to the next 
person on the tour and hope they get some enjoyment out of it as well. So, uh, if you like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Always helps me out, helps with the uh, algorithms, makes my channel more visible on the YouTube verse. Uh, if you're um, if you're of a mind to comments, questions, suggestions down below, I read them all. I answer them all. I will uh, delete you and block you if you become uh, overly negative. Just don't need that. If you're new to the channel or you've been here before but you haven't done so yet, uh, please uh, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. And then click the bell icon next to it so that when I upgrade, uh, upgrade, <laughs> sorry, when I upload uh, new material, you are alerted uh, to that. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. The channel is growing and I appreciate that. I hope it continues to grow. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying the uh, content I'm uploading, especially during these uh, trying times uh, when I'm making this video. If you're um, aware of it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, uh, Google April 2020 and see what was going on in the world at the time. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in my next video.